What's up guys? Welcome back to another flea market ground video. By the looks of it, it's not looking too great today, but hopefully I find enough to make a decent video for you guys. So let's go see what we can find. Let's see how much this well i was just walking by and uh, somebody was like what are you looking for and they were like jordans i was like uh yeah if you got them <laughs> and then he pulled these out of his car so not too bad i guess unfortunately they are the older ones and as you can see the midsoles are cracking but eh, i'm pretty sure somebody will take them to restore them how much are the baby shoes 15 15 I'll probably take them. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to leave the flea market. Last thing I grabbed was this Lego set. Obviously, it's pretty beat up. It's missing the bag number one, so it's not complete, unfortunately. Uh, but the reason why I grabbed it is because these two minifigures right here, specifically, are actually worth quite a bit. Because um, I guess this is the only way you could get them. It was in this set. So uh, they actually have some decent value to them. So that's why I grabbed it. Other than that, it was like some plushes and stuff. But I'll show you when I get home what all I got this weekend. All right, guys, we are back. And let me show you guys everything that I grabbed. So this week was kind of a slow week. So it's probably not going to be a very long video, but I figured I'd go ahead and make one. Um, I guess a short video is better than no video, like I've said before. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump into it. So I picked up a couple plushes, nothing crazy, just stuff that I'm like going to give to people. Um, this Bowser Jr. plush right here, I'm probably just gonna give to my brother. This Pikachu plush right here, he's like holding a orange berry. This Pikachu, I kinda, this one's a little dirty as you can see, but the only reason I grabbed this is cause he lights up and talks. I figure I can try to clean it. Little uh, Charmander keychain plush right here. Also shout out to the dude last week that said it's kind of weird that a grown person collects Pokemon plushes. I learned a long time ago, like if you like something, just do it. Life is too short to care what other people think. So that's just a couple quick things I grabbed. Uh, like I said, I'm probably just gonna give them to people. But for three bucks, what I did grab for my personal collection is this little old Pikachu clock right here, which he has a red nose. I don't know if, um, I don't know if it came like that or if somebody like painted it, <laughs> but I picked this up for three bucks. Reason being is I actually have an old Sailor Moon clock like this. Like if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know I picked it up a while back. You know, let me just grab it real quick. This one right here. So I figure whenever I see these old clocks like this, I'm just gonna grab them. So that's basically it for like the toys and gaming stuff for this week. So now let me get into like the clothing items. I picked up one shirt and two hats and, and all three of these items came from the same vendor. He actually has a YouTube channel where he shows like the other side. So if you're interested in seeing like the seller's point of view, I'll put a link to his uh, channel in my description below. So definitely go check him out. A vendor I've known for a couple years, always giving me good deals. So I grabbed the tea for five and the two hats for $3 a piece. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I paid. So the first hat is this Dale Earnhardt hat right here. This one is actually by Chase. Probably gonna clean this one up and just hold on to this one, honestly. And then this one right here I just found really cool. It's this ballpark in Arlington snapback, which uh, where the Texas Rangers played at. So that's those two hats. And then the tee I grabbed is the Logo 7 Dallas Stars tee right here. And that one is a size large, in good shape still. It does have a light fade to it, so not too bad for only five bucks. Before I get into all the shoes I grabbed, I forgot I also picked this up, which was like the last thing I grabbed. Um, it was this Star Wars Lego set. So as you can see, the box is destroyed. <laughs> and unfortunately it was missing bag number one. It was supposed to have six bags um, that are like labeled or whatever to build like this tank or whatever. So unfortunately bag number one was missing and what was also in that bag are these three minifigures right here. But luckily these three were in here. But unfortunately all the pieces to make the tank weren't there. So I'm just gonna sell those like individually for somebody who needs parts or something. And as you can see, the box is destroyed. I ended up paying $25 for it, but the reason why I paid that much is basically for the minifigures. So this one right here is probably is the cheapest one out of the three. This is probably about a $20, $25 Lego figure. But these two were the money ones. These two individually like alone are going are selling between like 50 to 70 bucks. This one right here and this one right here. So I only paid 25 bucks, like I said, for the um, pieces and then those three minifigures, but definitely worth it. And then the last couple things I grabbed, they're all shoes. Like I said in the beginning, I knew this was gonna be kind of short. First pair I picked up is a pair of OG Jordan 21s in a toddler size 6C. Some of these old toddler Jordans uh, have some sneaky value on them. So I grabbed these for 15 bucks. They're actually still very clean and they have the OG box with them. And the 21s is a shoe that doesn't really get much love. Like people only really care about the all red pair. And even those people don't really care about too much anymore, but cool colorway in my opinion. This next pair, honestly, I wish I would have kind of left, but it was like really dry. 
And I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna take them. I'm, maybe I can double my money at least. But it's a pair of these Beater True Blue threes right here. Uppers are not horrible, but as you can see, this is um, the older pair with Jumpman on the back. This is back when the midsoles crack like crazy, the paint. So unfortunately, the midsoles on these uh, need a good repainting on them. These are a size 10. They are my size, but I have the newer pair with the Nike Air on the back, so I don't need them. And I only paid $20 for them, so... I mean, I'm, I'm assuming I can at least double my money on these, but looking back at it, I kind of wish I would have probably just left these. And for $20, I picked up a pair of these Ultra Boosts right here. I don't really pick up a lot of Ultra Boosts anymore because they're just kind of hard to move. But um, I figured this was like a unique colorway, the Montreal pair right here. The midsole is like half black and half white, so I thought that was kind of cool looking. You have Montreal spelled out right there on the toe and on the back heel strap as well. So I scooped those up for 20 bucks. And then the last two pair I paid $5 each on. First pair is nothing crazy, it's just these Hoka's. Um, whenever I get these cheap, I pick them up. People are into the Hoka's. But the pair that I really liked is this OG pair of Sean Kemp the Shrouds Reeboks right here. And this is a size 11 and a half from 1998 or 97, I forget. But it reminds me a lot of the uh, Gary Payton glove. Like it has this like shroud over it that you can like pull back and you got the sneaker underneath. Definitely a cool shoe. Um, they retro these in 2015 and you really don't see them pop up for sale too often. So I thought finding a OG pair from 98 was uh, a pretty unique shoe to find. So those are my flea market grabs for this week, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this short video. If you did, hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week with another one. Later.